be an anxiety attack. I'm a Snow Isle resident. I live in a $3 million house with these assholes. What's You're under the, arrest right now. For what? For disorderly and Angelo! Stop. What am I doing? Relax your arms. Relax. Before you catch another charge. Start walking. I'm recording still. Start walking. Yeah. You press me Take for the what? Take the, the little. Get out of my face I'm and don't I'm spit at me again. I'm Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Oh! 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 Once money and power are in hand, some may feel they're immune to legal discipline. In this video, we'll explore situations where the wealthy think they can easily escape legal repercussions. Let's delve into the consequences of this arrogance and how the law deals with these special cases. I'm a Snow Isle resident! I live in a $3 million house with these assholes! In the first video, we meet a girl with exceptional negotiation skills, turning a simple traffic stop into two serious offenses. And today's main character is Ashley, a wealthy and crazy girl. I just got a divorce from the most evil man ever. I'm moving in like a, two days. I need to get off this island. You could I just have killed one of these people running, you know that? No, I did not. You I didn't, wasn't anywhere near them. They told me to beat the people over here. Here's how she turns everything into a mess. On October 24th, police officers intercepted a vehicle as it was being driven at high speed approaching a crowded Thanksgiving event. The driver was apprehended immediately upon exiting the vehicle, suspected of fleeing the scene of a high-speed checkpoint before fleeing again at another intersection. Stop her. Shut the car off, man. It's freaking Thanksgiving. I just got a divorce. My step fucking car, daughter's please. not with me. Can you step out the car, please? What in the... Yes, sir. No, they, no, what are you doing? No, I don't have anybody. You guys, please don't, please don't do this. What are you doing? How come she's allowed out? Like, why are you letting her through and I can't get through? I just got a divorce from the most evil man ever. I'm moving in like a two days. I need to get off this island. You I just killed one of these people running. You know that? No, I did not. I didn't. Wasn't anywhere near them. They told me to beat the people over here. I'll take care of the people. Just um. Ah! Thanks, okay. Please let me out. I live in a three million dollar house right down the street. The woman was screaming like a mad person. I think she needs to be with someone who knows how to listen and genuinely care, like a psychiatrist or an exorcist. If you do that, I'm going to pepper spray you, you got I mean, I f***ing turn. I'm going to pepper spray you. My daughter, I'm going to lose my daughter today. Listen to me carefully. Look at this. If you kick the window, That's my head. I didn't kick the window. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to endanger anybody, but the police officer on the other, but the guy on the other side told me to beat the runners over. right now you're at level 10. I need you to bring it down to a 2. Here's a level 2. Ready? I was trying to go to the gas station this morning, and I can't get off my neighbor. I need you to sit here. You're in handcuffs. You're arrested. All right, I can't change that. It is For what? It's fleeing and eluding. You gonna? Ah! You don't get what I just went through, like at all. I just want to f go home. I mean, I don't not deserve this. Listen, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. And like I'm yeah. gonna lose my daughter today too. Well. Ah! Help me though, this is hard. Look at my arms. <laughs> this, is, this is so tight. I'm a President of this neighborhood. I'm trying to adjust it for you. Gotta tell <laughs> oh my God! You're so tight. I'm trying to adjust. <laughs> Please let me out of this. <laughs> Are you taking me all the way to jail? She thought that revealing her identity would result in her being released after engaging in dangerous behavior. Truly a foolish notion from those lacking legal understanding. Are you taking me all the way to jail? I, was, I haven't seen her in three weeks and I'm supposed to see her this morning. Ah! Ah! Ashley an auto group so I just divorced. I guess I understand somewhat why her husband wants a divorce and custody. The one who divorces her has made one of the smartest choices in human history. I hope he can get full custody. Can I get out of here? Can I stand up? I'm having an anxiety attack. I'm a Snow Isle resident. I live in a $3 million house with these 
pinchazos. She had a very long monologue behind the police car. She wanted to use Thanksgiving to persuade the police officers to take her home instead of to jail. Police officers won't need your gratitude when you're a potentially dangerous element to everyone around you, young lady. Is that a lawyer? Is that my attorney? Uh, not right now. I have an attorney though, I need a call them. I have the right to talk to them. I have the right to talk to them. Like this is good? Yes, yeah, yeah, valid license. Please, he's in my phone. You can call him for me. I need you to calm down. I need to call yeah. my attorney, though. I have the right to so, speak with my attorney. So, hear me to out. To represent me. Charges are this, as of now. There may be more. Fleeing and looting, hit and run, because you hit a stop sign, reckless driving, and obstruction. If you would like your attorney present, then I cannot talk to you about it. Would you like that, your attorney? Am I going to jail? Yes, you are. All right. When you go to jail, you can phone your lawyer there. All right, ma'am? Are we going now? No. Please. I've lived here for 13 years. It was inappropriate of me. Officers, I would be so appreciative if you wrote me as many big tickets and, and write-ups and arrests. Take my car right down the street. I would be so thankful on Thanksgiving for you guys not to bring me all the way to the jail. I should have known better and gone through the 38th. I'm so sorry. I was trying to go quick and I was out of line, so I won't even appeal any of them. But if you could just not take me all the way to jail, I just don't know how. I'm a good person. I'm, I'm sorry I had a rough morning. That was out of line. If I don't get a lawyer, what you were going to say? Officer! Hello! Please! This is so f***ed up! Things wouldn't have been so bad if Ashley had stopped screaming, said things only she understood, and stopped behaving strangely. Then maybe she could have been more comfortable, at least not getting pepper sprayed twice. Ma'am, stop that. Ma'am? You're gonna get sprayed again. Stop! I, why am I being treated like a piece of shit? I did, why did you spray me with more pepper spray? I'm not trying to break your car. I'm trying to hurt myself. This is the most inhumane thing ever. I'm not a criminal. I'm sorry. All my fake fingernails came off. I will vacuum your car for you. The housewife on Snell Isle getting pepper sprayed and thrown in the back of your car during a turkey trot run i hope you know this is inhumane and i will try you just like i'm trying judge hellinger with the federal court no right to go through all my naked pictures you freaking weirdos Phone's back in your car. yeah i hope you know i am absolutely you fucking monster fucking saint pete police losers this is inhumane i'm trying to go to the gas station during the turkey trot arrested me and you've sprayed me with pepper spray like three times now this will be on all of the social media, you fucking losers. No finger! Unless you have tiny fucking midget fingers, they don't fit in here! I can't see. You're gonna have to get me out over on this side. Alright, well, I'll get you over on the other side. We'll carry you. you know I'm a Snell Isle resident? Yeah, you're embarrassing yourself. Stop. No, I'm not embarrassing myself. You guys fucking arrested me, pepper sprayed me three times. Twice. Do you wanna see my boobs too? This is so disgusting! I literally I have fingernails in, in, in your car. Okay. Yes, because I'm sorry. For, for, for my, are you taking my new Nikes off? Yeah, yeah, slip them off. What? Slip them off. This is disgusting. Right, have a seat, okay? There you go. Where? So, right here. Put, put, put your, put your, your left foot up. Listen, pick me up. I don't know I'm what the f you want. Oh, I can't follow directions when I can't uh, see. Step up, go back a little bit, scooch back. The seat is right there. Up Where are we going? In the car. You're putting your foot in the car, please. I'm trying. You've ever sprayed me twice. Yes, because you don't know how to act. Put your foot in the car. Thank you, ma'am. Here, I'm gonna buckle you in. Behave Why yourself. would you do that? Because you're not behaving yourself. The story Ashley tells may be true if you truly believe what she says, then Ashley truly is a pitiful housewife. But I think there's another side to this story that she's hiding. She's just using her sad story as an excuse for her wrongdoings, and she's trying to capitalize on the sympathy of the officers. Do you think so? I, I'm so sorry. I wasn't trying to... I like. I think I got frustrated trying to get off the island, which happens sometimes. I was trying to get to the gas station so I could get some coffee, so I could go home and shower and go get my daughter. I, I haven't seen my daughter in three weeks. She's six and a half. But I'm, I, I'm my DJ on the weekends. And 
I met Trist, but I just do them for the weekends. But I was just letting him know that I would vacuum his car. No, 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 no. Because no, that's really that. yucky. That fingernails. No. I literally just got through the worst three-year divorce ever. Not right of me to get mad. I couldn't drive fast. It, it really. I is already that. lost my daughter, uh, and my mom died. My dad died. I lost my career. It was biased, and I have to try the entire thing. So after spending eight hundred thousand dollars, I'm just asking for them to be kind, so I wouldn't have to ask any family members to get me from jail. I don't have anybody really to call to even come get me. I have seventeen of them, girl. You don't well, even know. They're not working then. Because... No, they're not. Because I was tortured by a narcissist. So would you like to look at my record and see no, if I've ever had I'm any other bad you. decisions? You, like, you, you don't I get it. Had an attitude with officers, so yeah. so I deserve getting pepper sprayed. No. And and my shoes taken off. Nobody deserves anything. You no, you told me to get punch. therapy after this. Well, because I, I have a therapist. You know what works? Getting what? away from my divorce for a week. I just got well, my final order this week. Well, my ex had cheated on me the entire time. This is not that. what I needed on Thanksgiving. No, I, I don't doubt it. But I'm you not, guys don't care. You guys are well, taking me to jail. Like, maybe I can relate to you in some way. Because I'm a human just like you, and I, I go, don't know. I Those go through stuff. Weren't. Well, this is this is certainly stuff. Yeah. I didn't need to be treated like this. Well, I mean. That's that's hilarious. Because I'm gonna definitely try that in court. Okay. My life is around. You guys just well, up my day. We didn't. Know Look at my arrest records. How did you? How how do I need to come back from this? I have no arrest records. It's nice or relatable, but unless you're gonna unlock me, let me out of the car, I don't really feel the need for this conversation. Sometimes there's accountability for your actions. I didn't put anybody in danger because I wasn't near anybody. Yeah, I know I could see people because my eyes were open, but um, no, I didn't hurt anybody. I oh, as you wished, Ashley, you've become a sensation across social media platforms. But people will look at your contradictory actions and words to learn lessons so they won't make foolish mistakes like you. Remember, think carefully before speaking to the police. Take you guys down. Are, are you, you under the influence of any kind of narcotics or anything? No, right I'm now? not. Why, you think I'm supposed to be quiet and not put down the St. Pete Police Department all over social media after this? That I have made with social media. I have an opinion and a voice. Between you guys and then I'm also doing a full-blown appeal on Judge Hellinger to have him removed. Actually, like I was given a very unfair trial. I'm pretty sure Pinellas County is up and Why? you guys beat me down with all this pepper spray that like because that's what you guys do well now you're being ignorant no you're i'm not really not yeah, no, that's ridiculous. no you're definitely treating me like no, you're being a colored person ashley has once again made a shocking statement she always manages to leave others speechless i wonder when dealing with a criminal who constantly opposes the police do officers have to distinguish skin color to choose how to treat them this is the craziest thing i've ever heard I do have medical license, marijuana. I don't. I think just my bowls in there. Yeah, no, I have my card. You guys can all like huddle around and talk about the crazy white woman that you pepper sprayed after I blast you all over social media for taking down the white woman on Thanksgiving. Like pieces of shit you guys are. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I definitely feel like a black dude who like rode his bike up, bike up from like the South Trail right now. Is how you're treating me. Constantly mentioning your $3 million house won't keep you out of jail, young lady. And we're also eager to see how you'll react when watching this video after being calmed down by a doctor. That's quite intriguing. You guys are just jealous, too, because you guys make like $12 an hour. Ashley, my DJ name. Why are they using my DJ name right now? That's not my legal name. Yeah, if there's a way you could write me up and not bring me all the way to jail, this has been one damn big lesson learned. Psychopaths, you guys are... I cannot wait to take this to court and put it all over the internet. It said we have bums creeping all over downtown and, and, and you guys don't give a shit. You want to arrest the white woman. She was charged, fleeing or eluding a law enforcement officer, obstructing or resisting officer without violence, fleeing and eluding police officer. After this girl's case, I realized one thing. Wealthy people often have the notion that they won't get caught when committing crimes. It's absurd, and this insane mindset often prevails among the ultra-rich and influential in society. I hope that after her release, she can learn a valuable life lesson, that being wealthy doesn't exempt you from the law. Therefore, it's essential to abide by the law and respect law enforcement officers. Who is he? The person you just cussed at. 
we can't talk to people. Put in the truck. I'm, I'm not talking. going yes, to jail. You are. I've done you are nothing going to jail. wrong. You're under arrest. I'll the next scenario we're about to explore involves a wealthy woman with toxic thoughts. Carol Nicotera, an arrogant woman. I donate you tons of money to them. So are you trying to go and say no, that because I don't you want donate money, favors, you can go to jail? No, I don't want any favors, but there is no reason for this. You're intoxicated out in public and you're... So... She had to pay the price for her reckless actions and nonsensical words. And here's what happened before she reached this conclusion. On June 25th, police responded to a call regarding a domestic violence incident involving a woman wearing a white dress allegedly fighting with someone. Upon arrival at the scene, they encountered Carol Nicotera, described as confident, arrogant, and possibly intoxicated. You're what? I'm good. Did you call 911? No. Okay, because someone called saying that you were getting beat up. Ew. I'm New York. I don't get beat up. Hey, I, I believe you, but were you just with someone? No. No? No. I was... That's disgusting. What? Here. I'm just waiting for Uber to get home. Right. Well, when I'm told that someone was beating up a white female in a white dress... You really think I would put up with that? I don't know you, but I'm here to verify with you. No one's touched me. I appreciate. I uh, support Dunway. I have a business over here. She denied any involvement in any altercation and claimed she wasn't assaulted, implying confidence and refusing to cooperate with the police. What's going on out here tonight? No one touched me. I didn't ask that. So why are we out here and why do I got like multiple reports that you had a fight with someone out here? <sighs> there's no problem. Well, there is a problem because there's a disturbance between you and another male. Someone doesn't want to stay at the hotel. I've got to drive home to sober up to go back home. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh shit. Yeah, that, I'm not. I'm not and you're telling me anything. that. Well, there was a cause out here, and that's the reason why I'm out here. It was you. Oh my God. Okay, homeless. All right. I support Dunwoody. I finance Dunwoody. I have a business okay. in Dunwoody. I well, make I don't know good who decisions. Them is, but them did not I make call. good decisions. I make good decisions to make better for myself. There's my ID. Look at my salon. I've got a business in this area. Uh, you! C-A-R-O-L. Oh my god. 0 one I'm not driving. I'm going to my hotel room. Based on her uncooperative behavior and reports provided by witnesses, Carol was arrested. While Carol was being arrested... Yeah, I'm going one to One more? Hotel. I'm going to go ahead and take you I'm to jail. Driving. Do you understand me? You are out in the public area. You're one, you're cussing at people walking down the road. Go ahead. What? You're under arrest right now. For what? For disorderly and Angelo! We'll stop. What am I doing? Relax your arms. Relax. Before you catch another Guys, charge. I'm Relax. waiting for Relax Uber. Relax your arms. What are you doing, Angelo? He didn't do nothing. I am. My daughter just turned 17. I got a hotel room. What? Seriously, guys? I donate to your... Done, Woody. You're cussing at people that walk by that have nothing to do with you. I'm not doing anything. You I was sit just here cussing here. this guy walking by you has got nothing to do with you. We can't talk to people. I'm not going to jail. I've done nothing wrong. You're under arrest. I'll Other officers approached the related man based on the description provided by the reporting individual for further investigation. Okay. And I have a reservation here for a room. That someone said that you were in an altercation with her. Uh, uh, I, I have, I did not do anything. Someone called us, and she was standing there as the only person that matched the description who was in an altercation with. Hey, Carol, Carol, okay. I did nothing. Do you have uh, an ID on you, sir? I did nothing, Carol. Why is she being apprehended? She was... Why is she being apprehended? Sir, stop. Why? She, she did nothing okay, wrong. Okay, can I please see your ID? And we will talk with you. Okay. But she has done nothing wrong, nothing against me. I okay. did not call anything. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. So I don't know if she's refusing to identify herself. Probably combative, is she, but. Mm, is she drunk? Has she been drinking tonight? This spot. Oh my God. Our supervisor will come over here and talk to you because that's who was talking to her, was she, our sergeant. Okay. Jesus Christ, really? What I saw was her being hogtied, and I don't believe that she deserved that. Okay. I did not call anything. I don't understand this. I didn't do anything. We have no fight. We are a conversation. We are a relationship. That's thrown perfectly fine. Thrown down, thrown town, and hog tied. Because when I talked to her, she didn't really want to talk to me. 
but for her to be hogtied, what I saw there, four men hogtied, hogtiding her. And I will admit, you hogtie her, you are gonna feel the wrath from her. Four men physically putting her down and hogtying her. We are common, we are, we, we are together. So I want to understand what this is. We live in the same house. How long have y'all lived together? Two years. Okay. I'm here. Where is she? You put her in cuffs and you hogtied her where? In cuffs, absolutely. But she was not hogtied. You didn't put her down on all fours? I did not see her. But the conversation seemed to yield little useful information for the police officer's investigation. Who is in a relationship with her? You understand my predicament, right? I don't understand what's going on. So, like you said, there's not one. Who reported it? I'm, I'm her man, you, you can and no one's to them. I'm here trying to help you understand. Do you okay. want to talk about it? You gotta understand how this matter. Who you're is a 911 Dude, call? You're at a hotel in public. Who knows where everybody can see it and anybody can call about it? I want to keep that clear. Allegedly, right? Camera, camera, camera. Allegedly, someone says that something was going on here. I but I saw my girlfriend with four officers putting her down, tying her up. These folks, mm -hmm. yeah, they probably put her handcuffs and hog ties. That's something we do. So what, convince what, what, me what's wrong. Your, what's the hog tie on you? What's hog tie? Putting her both hands behind her back right. and her feet, and using ties to apprehend her. That is what I no, observed. Hog tie. No, that's so not something we do. So if I'm wrong, I've never I'm seen wrong. That in department ever. I've been I'm wrong. Years. Okay. Carol was placed into a police car to be transported to jail. I'm trying to get an Uber walk. home. If you pull away from Are you guys one seriously more time, doing this? I will have another charge on you. I'm just trying to go home. Have a seat in the car. There's no charges under anything. Seriously, Seriously I've got a company. Get in I the donate car. to Dunwoody. I well, just then, want to go then home to Brooklyn. When you get to court in August, you can explain it to the judge that you what did nothing. What are you talking about? In the court slide August. in the truck. That is under right. the influence and obstruction oh. because you're fighting where you're pulling away I'm from I'm trying officer. to go home. Are you guys seriously? Absolutely. It is my daughter's. I just came here to. I saw it on this seat. I Absolutely. know your people in Dunwoody. Okay, well, I don't know what people you're talking about. What is your officer's name? I'm Sergeant Foreman. I donate Move. tons of money to Dunwoody. So are you trying to go and sit there and say no, that because you donate money, fingers, you can go to jail? No, I don't want any fingers, but there is no reason for this. You're oh. intoxicated out in public and you're... So what? Okay. Move your foot. And this also marks the final outcome for her boyfriend. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. Yeah, go with Stout. Stout, take your hand stand up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got a third party that sit there and witness between you and her. The other Okay. It's not going to be this Explorer, but it's going to be the Tahoe right there by that stop sign. Yes, sir. After being arrested, she continuously cited her status as a business owner and her sponsors to the arresting agency, and even expressed deep disdain for the homeless and how the government treats them. This is weird. You guys are ridiculous. I've done nothing wrong. If y'all want to listen to the homeless guy of his bullshit, I'm gonna call a few people once I get a phone call. Ability to Dunwoody, he parked the car. We came in. I decided to go back to my house. 17th birthday with my aunts and uncles at my house. We are staying here. You guys are big, making a big mistake. Big mistake. I have lawyers. I have lots of people around me. I'm gonna blast this. I'm gonna put this in the AJC because I'm connected and this is ridiculous. In Dunwoody, absolutely. And you just took two people who pay day and night, night and day, and work their asses off. Earlier, I thought the police might reconsider arresting her as I didn't see enough evidence to charge her. But now I can imagine what might have happened before the police arrived. And even when arrested, this woman remained arrogantly defiant of the authorities. She threatened to sue the officers, then boasted about her connections to intimidate them. She seems to believe that her status and wide-ranging connections will help her escape legal consequences or something else. There's cameras right there to the right. Do it, and I will challenge you, and I will sue the f out of you guys. I do Brookhaven donation. I am salon over at Park Place. I'm friends with Brian Olson. You're gonna put me in jail for what? 
I see those cameras right there. Do not defund. And I believe in the officer. I am a Republican, God damn it. You take me out of this ball. I go to Brookhaven Ball. I donate. Sir, I didn't do anything to anybody. They got defunded. They get defunded. Y'all get defunded. I fund. Fun Dunwoody. Look up my company. Look at the reports. What I do as a female. Almost watching me to be raped. To be watched over. My salon girls. Ridiculous. Y'all are f retarded. Look at my business. Look at the reports. You want to put me in jail? I got employees to do tomorrow morning. I got to go to work tomorrow morning. And I remove myself to get an Uber? You're ridiculous, sir. Well, I can't be there tomorrow for my employees. And I donate to Dunwoody. And I donate to Brookhaven. You go be great. This is ridiculous. This is everything news right now. You book me, this comes up. And I will fight. And I know everyone. You're gonna book me? How about him? The one that pisses on my business. Oh, we're bringing this up to the council of Dunwoody and the Congress. You picked the wrong person. I will find you in court and I will destroy you. I watch men jerk off in front of my salon, in front of Park Place, next door to Cafe and Messo. You wanna take me down? Who's gonna show up tomorrow for my employees? What are you guys doing about the homeless in Dunwoody? You're gonna lock me up so I can't show up tomorrow? You sleep good tonight, officer. You're nowhere worth an officer at all. Go to the academy. Go you wanna book me? Who's gonna go over there tomorrow morning to clean up the sh from the homeless? Really? Carol and her boyfriend were charged with disorderly conduct, obstruction, and disorderly conduct while impaired. Here are some pertinent details if you feel Carol isn't sufficiently charged to be arrested. For example, behaviors that may constitute disorderly conduct could include causing disturbances, using offensive language, or engaging in defiant or disruptive behavior in public spaces. Without additional detailed information about specific actions leading to the allegations of disorderly conduct against Carol Nicotera, assessing the legality of the arrest is a challenge. Allegations of disorderly conduct often involve subjective judgment and can be influenced by the police's interpretation of the situation. In some cases, individuals may be charged with disorderly conduct for refusing to comply with police requests, even if they do not engage in openly disruptive behavior. So the arrest of Carol and her boyfriend appears to be entirely justified from a legal standpoint. Back away from me, so I feel safe. Start walking. I'm recording still. Start walking. Yeah. Let me go, Nazi. Let me go. Let me go, public servant. No. In this case, we'll delve into the story of a wealthy young man, Daniel Hiltz, a 32-year-old man from Punta Gorda, Florida. He is currently being held at the Joliet City Center in Will County Jail. You? What was that? What was that? You? I had an Uber, man. Oh. Can I take this cuff? Give me my right, give me the right cuff, bro, my f And next, here's the entire process that led to this man's arrest. Early in the morning on December 5th, police officers were present at the bar to carry out a special task. After the restaurant and bar security guard escorted Daniel out of the establishment due to his extreme intoxication, officers observed Daniel heading towards his car with the intention to drive prompting them to intervene immediately. And give me, yo, hey, yeah. and give me, yeah, give me that, and if not, Did y'all trespass from here? They Man, got trespassing from here. Oh, you know what? You know what? Where's your Uber at? I got you, bro. Don't worry. Yo, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, I activated my bike. Can. This place have a valid trespass yo, agreement, too? Tony will sign a complaint. Look oh, okay. They won't even let me leave. Yo, they didn't let me leave. It's toilet with a J. That's what, yo, 50K a year. He said, join with a chat. Did y'all see his Uber thing? Or? Yeah. He showed me something, but it might it could have yeah. been a screenshot at this point. He doesn't want to calm down or listen. So. Yeah. So, whatever. Um, probably like wanna, to. You know what I'm saying? If you want to move and then he takes off, then I stop him. <laughs> see what happens. For real. Huh? This is the rabbit hole you want to go down? No, 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 no. no. Cold. I'd really just like to go home. Close. Away from me, bro. I'm not driving. Get away from me, bro. Just. You can always just do a comp ticket and uh, 
release him at the West Station on a compliance ticket for trespass. Okay. So staff staff would like you to leave the property so I can give you a ride no, over. I'm getting Uber, sir. Okay. Yeah, sir. Yeah. You think I'm the police? Are you them? Yeah, I know who you are. Yep. I, I want your security, bro, because I'm not driving. Tackling me and like causing a scene is all on video, by the way. You understand you're sitting in a running vehicle. Yeah. It's a uh, nice try. It, it no. was. It was never. It was. Actually, the music was, was running. It's not. It's it was. A, it's all on video. So you kind of have two options at this you're point. You're blocking me in for the last 10 minutes and my car is yes, not being running you're at highly all. intoxicated and you shouldn't be driving. Yeah. Okay. You're a liar. Then, then hey. how do I know you stay at the Hampton Inn? Hey. Because you told me you stay oh at the Hampton Inn. Oh my God. And I can you bring me there right now? Bro. Where's your, can I just see your room key? Yeah, you can. To see that you stay yeah, at you the can. Hampton Inn? And then if I'll you be don't mind, without tackling me like a... He has transformed from a pampered rich kid to a reckless and ignorant troublemaker. I never wanted to see the police escalate a situation like this. Daniel doesn't deserve officers treating him kindly like this. Can I just see your room? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm in the car, without tackling me. Have, you don't have to snap your yeah. fingers. Yeah, yeah. I'm snapping my fingers, bro. You can I don't drive, stand bro. Up. I will walk two miles to my fucking hot. Then you're, they're more than welcome to leave. If you don't mind. I'm not driving. There, go. Don't step. You want to grab bro. a hand? You're, you're not, you're not coming to me at all, bro. You step. I'm, I'm you stay right there. You're, I'm you're not under investigation. Lock me in. I yeah, did. yeah. Keep stepping in, bro. Yeah, I don't know what you're going yeah, for. Yeah, keep in the stepping car. in. Stay there. Yeah. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll... I'm getting an Uber. I didn't have an Uber on the way. Just grab your hand. Get, out, in get out of my car, bro. Without without, in without proper car. investigation. I'm not in your car. Yeah. Do you understand that? Away. It's all it's all on the recording. So yes, would you like a ride to the Hampton Inn or not? Yes. Just, yeah. No problem. That's it. So just show me. So your back key. up, sir. I was trying to assist. Public you with my servant, step away. Please, please step away. Key. Public servant, please. I'm not driving drunk. My car's not on. Please you step were away. You've been in car several times, so please step away. Get your hotel yeah, back key. away from me. You're in my. F I'm actually sick. You want to? Well, you're the one that got <laughs> into this area. I, here you go. Back away six feet, which is my. So you have kind of yeah. two options at this point. I tip them thirty percent. Back the f you away like from to me. Leave? Yeah, yeah. Back away from me. Okay. So you. I'm gonna get the hotel key that he's requesting, and you're gonna back away from me more than this arm length, please. I'm telling you right now, if you your make car's been back. You're yes. gonna get arrested. Back away from me. So get your hotel Does key. Your body and I'll give you a ride. On? Thank you. Back away from me. Get the hotel six key. Six feet. Out away from me with no disrespect sir i'm asking you to get your hotel back away so from me so i feel safe and i'm asking you to get do you notice that every time i step back you get closer to me back away from me get your hotel key man. back away from me i'm not driving get the oh, away from me they're, they're good Just get your hotel key man i'll give no, you a ride man. get the away from me bro my keys oh, awesome. are here awesome. get the oh, away from me six feet and i'll give you my Sorry, I'm my hotel key, I and, I, and, I, and, I, and I donate to your stupid cause for you being a dickhead. Hey, Back brother, away from me, bro. man! He's escalating the situation further with his belligerent attitude, continuously hurling insults at the officers. Perhaps Daniel believes that his words and actions are acceptable and that the police can't touch him. You ain't messing my brain, bro. Oh, you know, I didn't do anything. Bro. You want to you get you want to get you want to I already called you over. I'm You're not good. Driving. No. I, I, I have zero on my license, dog. Right, I'm getting, no, I'm not driving. Yeah, Gucci bag, cool. Bro. Nobody don't give a fuck about that Gucci bag. Dumbass drunk. drunk. Hey, like what? Hey, I didn't do anything home. to you, Bakula. Shut the f up and sit down. Do you what hear you, my voice? Sit what down. are you doing? Sit right here. Sit right I, here. I called you an Uber. Oh, good. I don't need an Uber, my yeah, sir. That's a lie. Why are you? It's all in recording. Bro, oh, so hey, sir, I'm not refusing. What would to you leave. like to do? I do Go. not want him to drive. I'm I want him to nice. leave the property. Walk, sir. Walk. If you don't mind, I need a cigarette from my property. I tip so 30% have... on Wednesdays. Hey. I tip 40% on Thursdays. Hey. I tip 50% hey. on Fridays, bro. Hey. Where, where you going? Hey. Let's go. I'm gonna show him right now. No, because it's up the way you're treating me. Because I didn't do to you. I'm gonna take you home. Am I under? Am, 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 am I am I being tanked? No, but I, then step away from me. Because this is me. So, so start I'm gonna call an Uber. Yeah, so I'm gonna get an Uber. Start walking or call me and yeah. call an Uber. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. So either take yeah, yeah. free ride. I'm trying to get my money. I'm trying to get my 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 phone. You don't got to. This is on the recording, bro. Y'all crazy enjoy that. This one's tea, right? I didn't do it. Yo, why are you bro. calling my hey, name? Hey, hey. Let's go. One more time, man. It's gonna take you to go back. And I'm like, yeah. Let's go. I don't drive drunk, bro. Right. Grab your money then. Grab your money. Let's bro. go.
Try to get my cigarettes too. Just helping you out to find your stuff, man. I don't need that. Turn it off. Yeah, we want it. Turn it off, man. Just helping you out. Take up the free ride. Let's go. Take up the free ride, man. Go all. You're being rude, bro. No. Cigarette, you're you're pressing me, cause what? Do you want a cigarette? Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. Bro, cigarette. About your stupid detailed. I didn't do shit wrong to you, man. Jordan's wrong. I come here, man. Daniel attempted to lunge at an officer after being informed that he had to leave Anthony's on Voyager Lane. After a brief struggle, Daniel was arrested and taken into custody, transported to the Joliet Police Department for processing. I'm drunk. Look at him. He's hey, You know what? Let's get in the car. car. Listen. Let's go. Bro. I can tell you, I, hey, Angelina, I can tell you one start thing. Walking. Start walking. Start walking. I'm recording still. Start walking. Yeah. Start walking. I've had enough. Go. Can I get a lighter? Let's go. Last chance. If you don't get in the car, you're going to jail. Can I tell you oh, one thing? Bro. I got this all recording, bro. Great, Remember I do too. It's I'm not walking up on you. Go home. You no. press me Take for the what? Take the, the little. Get out of my face I'm and not. don't I'm spit at me again. Please, I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. You drop anything. I dropped it, dog. You drop it. Drop. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Ow! 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 Behind your back. What? Put your hands behind my your back. Hands are here. Oh, I, I am road nigga, sir. Like, what? What the f did I do? Recording, dog. Ow. What the f? Don't smoke. Stand up. Yo, what the f? Stand up. Stand up. Can't stand up, man. It's all recording, dude. Yep. Can I pull, can I pull my pants up? Yeah, we will, man. Can you pull? No. Yeah, yeah, man, that, that's all my, that's all my, oh my god, dude. You trying to get that off? No. Get up, man. Stop no, falling. I can't, dude. You broke my, my left shoulder. Stop, dude. Stop, dude. I can't take my backpack off. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can, um, stand up. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up. Oh, no. Sit up. Stand up, all right? Oh, no. 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 Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Hold all my left! Oh my left shoulder, please! Oh. Give us something, please. Yo! Oh my god! That's my social security! We got you! We got you! No, dude! Ow, man! Yo, come on, man! Oh! Yo, please! Ow! Stop, no, man! No, I'm not! I'm not! Stop! Stop! My left shoulder's... Yeah, yeah, search me, search me. She's like Ow. reaching for something. Oh, no, it's not my, my left shoulder. Stop, dude. Oh, it's... You can turn around, dude. Yeah, yeah, I can't. It's... My left shoulder is pissing off. Bro. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got nothing, man. Yeah. Hold on, Mark. What do you guys tackle me? For what, dude? For what the... Up, oh, man! Twenty minutes of chance. Yeah, but I didn't do anything wrong to you. What else was that? What trap was I to you? I had an Uber, man. Oh, can I take this cuff? Give me my right. Give me the right cuff, bro. My. F I was. I had the Uber on the way. What the fuck do you mean, G? Let's see in the car. Let's see in the car. Let's see in the car. I have my social security card and shit. Let's see in the car. I'm gonna grab. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lay back. Daniel's defiant attitude towards the police has been ingrained in him since childhood. He was taught that, when confronted by the police, you need to cause as much chaos and yell as loud as you can. He has applied that knowledge skillfully. Oh, what are you doing to me for what? Get in the car. Oh, man. for what? Get in the car. Watch your hood. For what, man? Yeah, we got all now, your things. I'm suing you, bro. That's fine, man. No, I'm suing you, bro. Watch me. So I don't have my wallet on me. Your wallet's over here. Nope, I need to see it now. I need to see it. I'm taking you to court, nigga. Raymond. Do not I'm take the belt off. Fuck you! Don't uh, talk to me. Seat belt. Do not take the seat belt off, dude. Hey, just just so you know, he took off the seat belt. I didn't. What do you mean? Yep. I need I need my 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 wallet, my bag. I'm I'm going home and I'm going to the lawyer right away. You have to be handcuffed, or you have to be. I'm handcuffed, bro. You have to be. Get away from me! I'm scared of you. You said they're bringing me home. I don't need to be handcuffed. Bring me home. Get me away, man! You said they're bringing me home. 
He said, he bring me home. Get, get away from me. Get away from me. I'm not under the tank. Get away from me. So stop. Let's say Nazi Germany. Get away from me. No. Maria. <laughs> Daniel has turned into a raging lunatic, crying and then screaming nonsensical phrases. What the police officer needs to do right now is close the door and escort him to jail, where Daniel belongs. They're all outside the car now with guns. Please get away from me. Come on out. Don't get away. Don't get near me, man. Come on. Get away from me, man. Daniel, you gotta come out. No, so get away from me, dude. You gotta wear a seatbelt, man. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me! Let me away! You, you have me in cuffs! I want to go. You said I'm free to go! I'm in cuffs! I just put on you this is a shield! This Get, let me go! Let me go, Nazi! Let me go! Let me go, public servant! He is charged with serious assault on a peace officer, obstruction of justice, property damage, and resisting arrest. According to information from the police department, Daniel refused to cooperate with booking procedures. He then proceeded to continuously spit in the face of an officer. Daniel was later transferred to the Will County Adult Detention Facility. He was released on bail after someone posted a $25,000 bond for him. Do you think Daniel's actions will cease after this jail visit, or will they continue in the future? Don't forget to share your thoughts below the video. In reality, Wealth should never be a reason to believe that you can escape the consequences of criminal behavior. As we've seen in this video, the actions of the affluent must also be held accountable before the law. The greatest challenge lies not only in rectifying mistakes, but also in learning from them to avoid recidivism in the future. Remember, respecting the law and treating everyone fairly is the key to building a civilized and safe community. Goodbye, and see you in the next videos. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead.